Hi, and welcome to ProCare. In this session, you'll learn how to log in for the very first time and run the setup wizard. To log in, you'll enter a username in the upper right of admin, A-D-M-I-N, and then tab or click down to the password. And this very first time your password is the same, A-D-M-I-N, in all lowercase letters. This is the login for the default system administrator is not the way you normally will be logging in. You'll actually establish a login specifically for yourself. So once we log in, it will ask us to change the password of the system administrator. So you will want to pick a password that you can remember in the event you need to log in as the system administrator. You might want to write this down somewhere and whatever you want to pick for that password. And then you'll choose Change Password. Next, you'll be prompted to enter your current password, the one that you just established for the system administrator. And choose two questions and then give answers that you'll need to know in the event you ever want to reset the password for the default system administrator. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a couple of questions and a couple of answers. So now I've got questions and answers selected, and I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And it tells me I can use those answers in the future if I need to reset my own password. Now the setup wizard appears, so we can begin entering some of our basic information. Start by putting in the name of your school. In this case, I'll be ABC Child Care uh, number one. And the school code can be left as S1, or you could type in some other short abbreviation if you prefer. Then we'll go ahead and put in the tax ID number for this location. And we'll fill in the rest of the information. I've entered the basic information for the center, and then I'm going to add my school's logo. The logo will appear in various places throughout the program and on customer statements. So I will just browse to a place on my computer where I have stored that logo. And in this case, it's the ProCare logo, but you would choose one appropriate for your center. And then I'm going to go on and add a second location so I could manage, uh, in this case, two locations with ProCare. And I'll type in the name of that school, which is ABC Child Care number two. And then uh, the tax ID number is the same, so I'll leave that alone. You could uncheck this box and add a different number if needed. So now I've added the information for my second location and uh, a logo as well. And I'm going to go on and click Next. Now we're at a screen where we can add or change our classroom names. So the program comes with some default classrooms. But let's say these weren't necessarily the names of the rooms that you have in your location. So I may have preschool rooms, but maybe I don't call them the preschool rooms. So I might want to delete that one. We'll say remove selected items. And since I've got more than one location set up, it asks if I want to remove it for all my schools. So I'm going to say yes, I do. And I'm going to create uh, a new classroom here. Let's say my preschool room uh, is named uh, Blue Whales. And I'll say add classroom. And then maybe I have a second one called Green turtles. We'll add the classroom. So I've just added those two to the list. And of course you could update or change these as needed. And you do have the option if you have more than one location of choosing to add a room to all your locations at once or just a particular location. Then we'll click next. On this screen you'll add yourself as a user of ProCare. So this would be your name and title. And then whatever username you want to have for logging in. Often it's easy to use your initials, but you can use anything you want. And you'll notice once I type in a username, the password is shown for me. And in this case, it will always be all lowercase. So even if I type the username as uppercase, the password the very first time will be lowercase. And then we'll choose Save and Exit. And it tells me I'll be logged out and I'm ready to log in now uh, with my new username and password. So now I'm going to log in as myself. You'll remember my username was BOS, although the username itself is not case sensitive. But the password is, so I have to remember to enter the password 
this very first time in lowercase. And then I can tap enter on the keyboard or choose login. And then I'll go through the same series of prompts that I did for the default system administrator. It'll tell me my password is expired and that I need to pick a new password. So in this case, you would be picking a password for yourself. I've entered the password that I want for myself and the confirmation password. I'll choose change password. My password has been changed. And then I'm back to the security questions. So now I would put in the password I just set up for myself and choose questions and answers that I will know for myself in the event that I ever need to reset my own password. So I've chosen questions and typed in answers for myself and then I'll click save. And now I've successfully completed the first time login and the setup wizard. So you can just see what would happen if you did forget your password when you click on log out. Now you can log in as yourself, but you'll notice there is a forgot password link right here. Clicking that link will bring up the questions. If you, you can answer the two questions, then it will reset your password for you.